everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today I'm going to be doing a straight pour. That's why I've already covered my edges. Uh, sometimes in a straight pour, because the paint needs to be so thin to get this, um, the Rayleigh Taylor instability is basically what it is, to get these cells without silicone, it needs to be pretty thin. And so you might not get the best coverage on the sides, but the top will look amazing. So what I do is I cover the edges first and I'm using black. Um, I can't recall if I've used black in a straight pour before. Um, I think I may have used it like in some funnel pours, but this is my first time that I can think of where I'm using definitely with this combination. Black does have a tendency to want to sit on top, but the colors that I'm using here are very strong cell makers without silicone. I have the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in uh, pewter, and also in the Sterling Silver. So these two will make cells by themselves without any addition uh, of silicone. Before we get started, let me show you my Fluid Art Inspiration cards. If you've already seen this part, just fast forward about a minute. Uh, if not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards. Oh, this was one of the funnel pours with black. Uh, each technique has an associated video tutorial, which is free on YouTube. And there is uh, a little box here that has a tip for that particular technique. There's a color palette associated with that. You can use these two boxes uh, as a two color pour or as the basis for another pour. Each one has uh, different techniques, different color palettes. And also the bonus color palette cards. There are eight of these, each one with five different color palettes. That is uh, thousands of combinations. You can pick a card and choose a different palette, mix and match, what have you. Available at my website, ginadeluca.net. Now let's make a mess. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put some paint. The black is going to be my background paint. Oh, this is a uh, Liquitex Basics in Mars Black. These paints have been mixed one part paint to two parts flow draw. And if water needed to be added to thin it to the proper consistency, which I also need to show you, I added a uh, 90% water 10% flow trial mix to thin to the proper consistency which is a one on my consistency scale it just disappears immediately it does not make a mound black is hard to see the metallics uh, metallics always look thicker because of the uh, mica so you have to account for that as you're mixing. It's just something that you eventually get a hang of. But on the thin side is what we're going for. And if you have problems getting cells, try to go thinner. That's the, in a straight pour. If you're using the same paints, that is probably the issue, is that it's, it's too thick for the Rayleigh Taylor instability to take effect. All right, so I'm going to put two ounces in there. That will be my background uh, of the pour, hopefully. The cells will pop up and the black will up here as lines in between the cells. A 
Okay, my base coat is down, and now I'm going to pour my paint into my cup. And I'm gonna come from up high because I want it to sink. I want it to blend. There's already cells popping up. And I'm hoping that the pewter and the silver will blend together a bit in the cells to create some 3D effect. Okay, that pewter's trying to take over. Let's make a mess, shall we? Fibonacci spiral. I like to have a focal point in my paintings when possible. Okay, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't know if these blended together too much. We shall see. Let's give this a stretch. Actually, I'm gonna do this side. Remember to bring your paint back to center before you change directions. I wanna leave some of that black on the corners where I can because I like the depth. I feel like if I can get this to stretch a little more, I will get some cells. There's some popping up on the edge here. So I may have to sacrifice this corner. And stretch that out. And if they don't pop up, that's okay too because it's still looking pretty fantastic. That sparkle, that is pretty cool. In a straight pour, the more you move the paint around, the more cells will pop through because you have to stretch that top layer. But while doing so, always be mindful of your composition so you don't get wonky cells, unless you want the wonky cells. 
which I do sometimes because wonky is fun. starting to pop up one of these days I'm gonna get a proper setup where my camera points straight down so I'm never off camera it's really difficult to uh, make sure that you are in frame and keep an eye on your composition and try to talk at the same time I'm gonna just try to push that down just a hair. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit. I think some more cells may pop up and I will bring you in for a close-up and we will see what becomes of it back in a few okay here it is in all its sparkling glory it's very sparkly Very cool looking cells. It did kind of wind up with the pewter on the outside and the silver on the inside, which is what I was hoping for. So it would get that 3D look. Kind of like boulders. Until the camera's having a hard time picking this up. The hue keeps changing. It's all the glitter. Well, technically mica. But it definitely wound up with that 3D effect. This part looks molten, like it's bubbling. I am happy with this one. I dig it. You can see the sides. See, it doesn't hold up great on the sides, which is why I always paint the sides first, just because it can appear kind of see-through on the sides there. But there we have it. I uh, hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and share and subscribe. If you have not been getting notifications and you are subscribed, you may need to unsubscribe and then subscribe again. And then it will give you an option of uh, to receive all notifications or just some. Of course, click all. But if you have not been getting them, that may be why something changed within the YouTube and uh, the bell is not there anymore, which is what you would click on to be notified. Uh, if uh, you would like to support this channel, please check out the description box below for links to my PayPal and Venmo tip jars. 
if this color is switching back and forth, this is the right color. It's kind of got a, it keeps lightening up. I think the camera's confused. But uh, yes, my Venmo and PayPal tip jars. The links are available in the description box. Greatly appreciate it, but of course, not expected. Also in the description box are links to my Amazon store. Most of the items that you see me use are available in the Amazon store that you would get to through that link. However, if what you need is not in my store, if you enter through that link, I will still make a small commission at no additional cost to you. And also is the link to our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. Post your masterpieces, ask your questions, that's the right color. Get your inspiration. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.